Finding clues in time to save lives is the mission of a new research program in the area. Our John Elliott joins us now with some very personal details. John? Sharing my story to help folks out. So the Pancreatic Cyst Surveillance Program at Cooperman Barnabas Medical Center is a cutting-edge combination of high-tech medical science and good old-fashioned medical sleuthing. We were absolutely thrilled to be um, the first in the region and one of the first in the country to onboard artificial intelligence for pancreatic cyst patients. About 15% of us have cysts on our pancreas, those little fluid-filled pockets. The vast majority of those are found incidentally when they're looking for something else. We know the cyst is the precursor lesion, so it's a perfect model to try to understand how do these cancers develop? So I've had a lot of kidney stones, so I have occasional CAT scans of the kidneys, and that's when they saw the cyst on my pancreas, and that's why I'm participating in this program. Come on in. Let's go. The risk of cancer for a mucinous cyst can be as low as 2% over a patient's lifetime, or as high as 65 percent over a patient's lifetime. Here we go again. The artificial intelligence software that we uh, are using within our program identifies patients automatically if they have an abnormality in their pancreas. Breathe in, breathe out. Well, Good. Good. Perfect. You want to stay longer? Thank you. Some of our research here is trying to identify new biomarkers that would help us to understand which are the high-risk lesions that we should be more aggressive with. And here, this is a, a cyst that is uh, within the pancreas. Our main focus here in the pancreatic cyst population is to mitigate and, and lower the risk of someone developing a pancreatic cancer because once the cancer develops, that patient is rarely cured of their disease. Okay, Dr. Langen wanted me to stress that this is a team effort. The staff at Cooperman Barnabas Medical Center is working with the Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey and software developer Eon Health. So, I knew I had a cyst on my pancreas, but they also found something inside the pancreas, so I am scheduled for an endoscopic ultrasound later this month. And what will that do? So that's imaging, but that's mm -hmm. also a bit of a biopsy because they'll aspirate, they'll stick a needle into the pancreas, suck some of that out, and then they'll, you know, do a biopsy on that. And as always, family history plays a big role. Big time. Yeah. And it's in my family. So the thing about pancreatic cancer is you don't feel anything. And I don't have it that I know mm -hmm. of. Right. But it's the question of finding these cysts, and that's what this program is about, getting a database so they can see what they need to attack and when. All right. Well, Stay John. tuned. Truly, thanks for sharing. We yeah. feel so much closer yeah, now. I only have spleens for you. <laughs> <laughs> you joke, but we do you. wish you the best, John. And I'm telling the story in case people are out there. Yeah, of this course. This is cutting-edge stuff. Of you course. kid because you love. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, John. Thanks, John.